to be where I am today has taken me 25 years or whatever it is. So as I said, there's no shortcut to success. So I'm wary of that. I'm at the pinnacle of motorsport right now, but naturally every day I feel like I'm growing. I'm always learning something new. I'm not perfect by any means. I've got so much to learn. Of course, I've gone through ups and downs. I've definitely gone through fears and worries and where I've come from, I've come from the ground up. The struggles, you know, my dad struggling to provide for the family to keep us go-karting. That's, that's really what ignited everything. I've had parents of other drivers come and tell me, you're just not good enough, you're never going to make it. I've had teachers tell me, you're never going to make it. Grown people tell me, <laughs> tell a 10-year-old, 11-year-old, that you're never going to be a success, you're never going to get anywhere. If anything, I felt like through those experiences and enabled me to become stronger as a, as a youngster and battle my way through all the different things and obstacles that I, I came to. To see that I was able to lean back and have a father figure who was right there to back me up. This guy would, you know, go to war for me and that's, uh, that's something very empowering. All these lessons all these experiences might have definitely helped me to grow. And I think me as a driver, I've had to find my own way. No one could tell me, do it like this, because that's going to work. So you just have to discover it. It's about trial and error. That's really what I love about what I do, because even today, when I go to the next race, I get out there on track and I'm still discovering something new. In my sport, people go and read all the stories of the older drivers who have been there and done it, would then look upon a youngster coming into it and say, you have to be like this to be the best. And I think that's wrong with them because it's actually, that's what they have to do to be the best. But for everyone else, it's different. When I stand at the front of the grid, I definitely stand out like a sore thumb, but I quite like that. I, I see that as a strength rather than a weakness. But I don't drive today to satisfy anyone else. So I don't drive to prove my worth to anyone. I drive because I love it. I know I've got an ability. I know if I work hard, if I put the effort in, I can achieve great things.